Hey what's up guys welcome back. So in this video we are going to see how the oops concept works in python. Okay, We are going to figure out the area of the circle as well as circumference of the circle using oops. Okay, So here I am in Jupyter notebook. So first I am going to initialize a class called circle. circle. Notice how I am initializing it with the capital letter because that is because of convention. Even if you give small letter it does not make any difference it will be the same. Okay, so class called circle and after that I am going to initialize a class variable called pi. So pi equals math dot pi. Okay, so I am going to import math now. Import math. Okay, now I can use it. So math dot pi. After this I am going to initialize a special method uh, called init. So this is basically a construct constructor in Python. So these type of methods are also called magic methods as well as dunder methods. Okay. So underscore underscore init. So this init uh, function takes the first mat first parameter as self. Okay. So don't worry about this self right now. I'm going to talk about this self later. And apart apart from self, it's going to take uh, another argument. Uh, as radius okay so radius uh, is used for calculating the area as well as circumference if the user doesn't provide any radius i'm going to give it a default value as 1 even if it doesn't provide any radius value it's going to be 1 so now it's time for us to initialize that radius self dot radius equals radius okay so you don't have uh, to give the same name as radius you can also give here like r okay it's fine so uh, it will be confusing so i'll just uh, name it as radius here as well okay radius okay now the constructor method is done now let's uh, uh, create a function or method to figure out the area of the circle so def area it's going to take self parameter self parameter okay then i'm going to calculate the area of the circle so what is the area of the circle area of the circle is pi r square right so pi multiplied by self dot radius whole square and then after this i'm going to return so this is basically the area of the circle now and next i am going to create another method called circumference circumference and then it uh, this method also going to take uh, first parameter as self okay and then c for circumference so the circumference of the circle is calculated uh, using the formula 2 pi r so multiplied by multiplied by pi multiplied by 2 pi r so self dot radius and then I am going to return c ok here you cannot directly access this pi variable uh, without giving any self or uh, the class name so to access this um, this pi uh, class variable you have to give either self dot pi or the class name class name it works the same okay i'll just give self over here self we will also see uh, what happens if i give the variable name called uh, with uh, what happens if i call this pi with uh, class name okay it will be the same it doesn't make any difference so just because I have taken self here, I'll also take self. Okay, so to avoid confusion, two pi r. Okay, that is for circumference. And then the methods are done. Two methods are done. That is area and circumference. Now let's uh, initialize uh, object for circle. So c equals c i r c l e circle. So it takes one parameter that is radius. Now let's talk about the self parameter. So when you are initializing a circle uh, uh, object 
when you are initializing an object for this circle this object is directly given to this self that's the reason why we have to give self even if you don't give self self or here you can just give yes as well so it is exactly the same just by convention we are sticking self okay we are sticking to self so that's it and whenever you are accessing this radius you will be accessing by this name not just radius that's why we have initialized it self dot radius so that's why we are accessing it by self dot radius self dot radius and for class variables you can either access them by circle dot pi or self dot pi okay now that we have initialized a object called c now let's just um, calculate the area c dot area okay let's just print print it okay hopefully there are no errors okay there you can see this is the area and let's just calculate the circumference as well circumference that is 31.4 okay um, so notice every time when you want to access the area or circumference you have to give c dot circumference or c dot area wouldn't it be nice if you just press c you'll get the circumference and if you just press a you'll get the area so let's just make our code to look more sophisticated so for that i'll what i'll do is i'll just initialize another variable called option option and then i'll take input press a slash c to get area slash circumference circumference okay and then later if option equals equals a then I'll call area method okay c dot area and I'll print this as well if a if a if option equals c then i'll call circumference method print c dot circumference okay else i'll just print invalid invalid key okay so I'll what I'll do is I'll just cut this and I'll just paste it below and I'll take another variable called radius it'll be int or float whatever float input enter the radius okay so I'll just remove this and I'll pass radius over here so here uh, when I execute this it will always going to ask to input the radius so for that I'll just uh, remove this default value because it doesn't make any sense the user ha always have to enter this radius variable value for this radius variable okay now let's just execute this program and let's see how the output looks like Pl press a or C to get the radius I'll just press a and enter the radius I'll just give 10 there you have it and uh, once again I'll execute it this time I'll I'm going to access the circumference enter the radius I'll give 20 so this is the circumference of the circle okay what happens if I access this pi variable with this class name okay so okay I'll just execute this one more time press a or c to get the area i'll just get the area i'll pass the value as fine here you can see it works the same way as it did before it doesn't make any difference if you access this class variable with the class name or self but these uh, instance variable you you always have to access them with self keyword uh, it's okay if you want to give any other name over here um, 
it is fine it is totally fine but by convention we are sticking it it with self okay so let me just uh, toggle this so you can see the whole code over here okay so let me go through this code once again so first things first i am importing the math math uh, library and i'll initial i'm initializing a class called circle and then i'm initializing this pi variable then this is a constructor method also known as magic method also known as dunder method and first parameter it always takes it as self and i'm passing another variable called radius so here uh, initializing the radius as self dot radius equal to radius so here uh, over here you can give any other name like r capital r small letter small letter r uh, it will be the same so just to avoid confusion i am giving it as radius same name okay so i am uh, defining one method called area it is always it always takes self uh, this first first uh, argument self and then i am uh, writing a formula called area equal to circle dot pi multiplied by uh, radius square so area is pi r square okay i am returning area and then after create and then after that i am creating one more method called circumference and it is also it also takes as self and then circumference the the formula of circumference is 2 pi r so uh, again i am writing 2 multiplied by circle dot pi multiplied by self dot radius and then i am returning the circle and i am creating one more variable called option input press a or c to get the area of circumference then after that i am taking uh, one more ra uh, one more variable called radius that will be float or int or whatever uh, then I am asking the user to enter the radius and that radius I am passing it to this circle object and then if uh, the user enters option uh, option as A then we are returning the area if uh, the user enters a C then we are returning the circumference if uh, user enters, enters any other key like Z, X etc it's going to print invalid key okay so this is how the oops concept works in Python I hope everyone got this and yeah uh, that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care